With this video, we offer you a short introduction to heat flux measurement. Let's begin with what heat flux is. Heat flux is the term used for energy transport through a surface. It is expressed in watts per square meter. Heat fluxes are studied for many purposes, often in support of the energy transition. To verify how well thermal insulation works, to optimize cooling, or to assess possibilities to save energy. Heat flux is driven by temperature difference. Energy is transmitted from hot to colder areas. The larger the temperature difference, the larger the heat flux. We and the objects around us are continuously exchanging heat. Heat is transmitted in three different ways. The first mechanism is through conduction, typically through a solid, for example, a wall, Conductive heat transfer depend on the thermal conductivity of the material and its dimensions. The second mechanism is through convection. From a solid to a moving fluid or gas, for example, from a wall to air. Convective heat transfer varies with flow rate. The higher the flow rate, the higher the heat flux. The third mechanism is through radiation. For example, from the sun to a wall or between two objects with different temperature. In radiative heat transfer, the surface properties of source and receiver play an important role. The lower the emission and absorption, the lower the heat fluxes. Mirror-like surfaces such as blank metals not only reflect a large part of the incoming radiation, but also have a low emission. To measure heat flux, we use a heat flux sensor. So how does a heat flux sensor work? Inside it, you'll find a thermopile, a highly sensitive temperature difference sensor. It generates a voltage output signal proportional to the local heat flux. Heat flux sensors are calibrated for either radiation or conduction. Here you see a facility for calibration of radiative heat flux sensors. Here a guarded hot plate is used as a source for calibration of conductive heat flux sensors. Their sensitivity is traceable to international standards. Sensors are supplied with calibration certificates. Heat flux sensors can be designed and positioned to serve a wide variety of applications. For example, to study heat transfer by radiation and convection of thermal batteries used in greenhouses. Here, a high temperature industrial heat flux sensor is configured for a mobile survey at different locations using a battery-powered measuring system and a sensor equipped with magnets for easy installation and removal. In electrical power plants, you can measure the heat flux from the boiler wall to the steam using heat flux sensors integrated into the wall of a boiler tube. To study heat transfer by fire and flames, water-cooled heat flux sensors are used. They have a black front surface that absorbs the radiation. There are many types of sensors, each with their own characteristics. So how do you know which one to use? When selecting a heat flux sensor, first look at the application. What are the expected ranges of heat flux and temperature? Second, determine how heat is transferred by conduction, convection, radiation, or a combination of these mechanisms. Third, look at the environment. Are there any special requirements, for example, chemical or mechanical? And finally, decide how to measure the output signal. Knowing the application, transfer type, and environmental conditions allows you to choose the right sensor for the job. Finally, here are four important tips for getting accurate measurements. Heat flux sensors measure locally. Most systems employ multiple sensors to get a better picture of the differences between one location and the other, and to create some redundancy. In many applications, it's not necessary to perform an absolute measurement in watts per square meter. You may consider monitoring trends relative to a reference point. If radiation plays a role, make sure your sensor surface absorption matches that of the object it's mounted on. The presence of a heat flux sensor potentially affects the local heat flux. You can estimate and correct for errors or decide to accept a certain measurement uncertainty. Would you like to know more about heat flux measurement in your specific situation? Visit our website and reach out. With more than 30 years of experience, 
we will assist you in choosing the right sensor for your application.